Hello everybody and uh, welcome back and today we're going to write a code, we're going to do some classes. So we're going to do a class car, uh, basically we're going to print out some details about it and then we are going to start the car up and then we're going to turn off the engine. So we're going to first of all make our class, so we're going to call it class car, that's a class car. And then we're going to define and initialize using this initialize. Okay. Now I'm going to type in self. Uh, the name of the car, and I'm just going to say the age of the car here. Okay. So now it's going to be self dot name is equal to name then self dot age is equal to age there we go okay now we're going to come down and we're going to do the print function which is going to print out all the information so define and I'm going to call this print details so when I go detail details so when I have a look at this I know what it's all about when I look at the code so I'm going to self reference it there self okay now we're going to hit print using the print command and I'm going to format this string F there and I'm going to call, say my car is ah okay then self dot name so my car is uh, it is and then we're going to go self dot age this will print out how old the car is self dot age just close that with the curly brackets uh, years old okay and we'll just close the uh, parenthesis there okay so that's our print function that's going to print out the details uh, that we give it okay and now when we've done that we're going to start the engine of the car so define uh, I'm going to say call it print starting up I call it self okay so let's give it a quick message here telling the user uh, starting okay one two three okay Right. <coughs> One thing I forgot to put in here, and we're going to be using it, is the time module. So at the top, just click import time. So we will be importing this time module into the program because we're going to be using it. And you will see that as we go on. So I'm going to put here time.sleep one second so this will give it a one second pause and then I'm going to click print I'm going to print out a message that we want to see vroom vroom car starting up vroom vroom I'm going to create another function here called uh, turn off the engine so we're going to turn off the engine define turn off engine okay so we're going to turn off the engine here okay we're going to move down a little bit further on there so we're going to turn off the engine and uh, let's have a look so turn off the engine and we're going to say here turn 
of engine of the engine is equal to input because we're going to ask the uh, person on the other side if they want to turn the engine off or not so give a message here turn off engine or not uh, or not there and um, we'll give them one two we'll give them uh, yes or no option there yes or no option so they can type in yes or no okay so if they do that uh, we're going to have to use a conditional now so if turn off dot lower so anything they type into there will be reduced to a lower case so if they type in a capital letter uh, if I didn't put dot lower in it, Python wouldn't understand it, so anything they type in is going to be reduced to lowercase, so Python will understand that. Okay, dot lower, let's say, is equal to Y, which means yes. Okay, we're going to print something. Print uh, engine is turning off and then we're just going to quit the program quit like that uh, okay and what we're going to do here as well let's go come down a little bit here else we're going to give it an else here so else if you don't do that we're going to do something else so I'm going to print uh, the car car is still running so the car is still running okay looking good so far okay so what we do is we just save this save as I'm just going to save it on my desktop as car.py okay save it as a python file that's most important okay so what we're going to do we're going to call this car1 it's equal to car with a capital here okay I'm going to pass it a couple of parameters so uh, as we saw before, the car name, I'm just going to call it something like BMW, the car name, I'm going to give it an age, how old is it, I'm just going to say something like five years, okay, so we've initialized that, and now I'm going to print the details on here, so let's have a look, so car1.print details okay part one dot print details so it prints out the details for us uh, car one dot print starting up okay print starting up and we're going to turn off the engine finally car one dot turn off engine okay right we're just going to quickly save that and uh, hopefully we're going to run our code so come over here to run click on run module and we've got an error here let's have a look have I made a typo uh, name car one is not defined. Did you mean car? Let's have a look. Okay, okay the keen-eyed people out there will notice where the error is. And it's just a simple typo. It's this here. It should have been equals. You have to be careful when you type in this. I suggest when you write code, 
something like this you write a little bit of code then test it a little bit and test it that way it prevents a scenario that's just happened to me when you make a typo somewhere and then you have to look through your code so if you write a little bit and then you can correct it as you go okay let's run it again run module there we go my car is a BMW, it is five years old, starting, vroom vroom, turn off engine, yes or no? Let's hit turn off engine, yes. Okay, turn off is not defined, so we've caught another little problem there. Okay folks, can you spot that problem? Well, it should have been turn off here. I wrote turn off engine, so we'll just knock that out and save now click run let's have a look let's see if it works now okay so far so good turn off engine yes okay so we should quit the program there we go okay let's run it again run the module turn off no let's have a look the car is still running there you go bob's your uncle and fanny's your answer Okay, everybody, I uh, hope you like that and I hope you found that uh, interesting. So I will catch you again in another video. So bye-de-bye.